Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with the sad party. Where is the sad party taking place? It's taking place everywhere. That is a reference to a nightclub concert event that I was at last night. So I hope you're all getting there. I was, um... I'm recording this immediately after the previous episode, so I just didn't mention it in the previous episode. But I did mention it in an episode of Splatoon, which likely came before this. It's also why my voice might be fucked in this in the previous episode. Sorry that. I went to a concert thing last night called Emo Night, where I dressed incredibly emo, and there's amazing pictures of me on Twitter looking fucking amazingly emo, and it's awesome because I look really good. Um, <laughs> where basically bands, uh, well two bands, like two halves of two bands came together to do a bunch of covers of a bunch of emo songs from like m um, early to mid 2000s and it was fucking amazing and there was like, because of the hotel where it um, was at, it's like the ground floor is where the bands performed and we watched the bands perform there and if you went upstairs to the next floor it was just like, that's just a straight up emo nightclub and if you go to the top floor it's just like, well that's just like a normal nightclub with normal like party tra um, dance trance music and I was just like, and that was the locations of all those and it said sad party everywhere and it's like yeah so that was what that reference was to but it's also a reference to this game because today is going to be the sad party because there is going to be a lot of sadness to go around everywhere because we're going to be finishing up all four of the keys for this half of the game and as we've started learning for two halves of them before and we already know for one of them because we blew up a town there's going to be a lot of sad party going on today I don't think there's much sad part like sad story for the forest of myth though I don't even know if this area this is changes. The village from a dream. There's no shades or anything, yeah. so I don't even. And there's like Truly no bosses here. Nightmare I hope never to experience. I don't even again. know if anything changes here, I honestly. Hear. I don't think anything changes here, honestly. Yo, what's up? Ah. Hello, how are things? You want to know? I've been feeling rather strange trying to visit Divine Tree. Divine Tree, it's a legendary tree that exists in the hearts of our village. You, um, best get the course in this presence? No, not really. And why not? We're not really supposed to go near the tree except for prayer. And why is that? I don't know, all right? Things have things always have been weird. Hi there, Divine Tree. How are you? We are the grass, we are the trees, we are the woods. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? You should talk, Weiss. As if Grimoire Weiss is of, of spouting such nonsense. Hang on, I don't think he's done. The dark form that governs all memories. May the words form themselves to your liking. That would be nice. Black, pure darkness, painted over everything. Words scattered across black. Car words, amorous words, all spoken like jewels. Uh, grab the words. Uh, wrong. I didn't know how it was supposed to be. Plan has failed. Uh, Dream remember everything about the world. This was its task, its purpose. It uh, should be something approaching joys that collected the memories of mankind. So the accident of emotions were as much part of the tree as the root and bark. Memories collected like the dew on thick grain leaves of the tree. Was a form where that's in the entire world. Words collapsed in sunlight before passing through the leaves of the woods. But the pool the words run together and call and colors into stars. Age star was like a child of a tree and I loved them all. Look at my memory. A uh, child is here, brought low by disease. Far too young to have suffered so. Thin beyond words. He's um, boy's skin is a shade pale than the bleach hospital sheets upon which he lies. Parents long can visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. Doctor long answering his fate to the gods. The boy too was man in hope, strange emotions, uh, wearing a sacred swirl within the dark races of the young boys. Uh, tries to reject the black terror that germinates from his body, no matter, no matter effort, um, what is, can drive the invader away. He has ceased to resent his parents and doctors once he did, but now his pain is so great that there's little room in his heart to think of others. One person uh, with deep blue eyes, that's important, but a uh, beacon of brightness and lights, boy's world. Uh, unable to look upon a face, a uh, boy's will, loathing of his own stay, uh, um, Loathing it's well, joys come, girls stop coming, you know, sis. Uh, things to be good, so you can tell her feelings, but no one will never happen. The girl disappears, the boy dies alone. Trace scoops up to arm um, this memory and carefully stores her, um, it within itself. Edge upon a word is a single word, envy. Look at my memory. Female warrior, uh, her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend, so blue and then red. Uh, when she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. Pillar of salt! Uh, when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises, and another, and another. Warrior knows the struggle is uh, followed by fighting the unending stream of enemies filled with a sense of joy and purpose. Deep in the warrior's drug out of mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists in her head, dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Friends and fellow warriors come and go, um, some flames are, some are eaten. She ends the fight with 63 companions, but most are gone now. 63 companions, or is that the important part? Uh, the warrior's body shadows, um, she does not understand why. At first time, she, uh, 
Um, he's the fearless in the arena is already in closing darkness, looking um, up the warrior, sees a beast of larger blots out the sky, laughing as she be known for so long that she can remember covered in blood and dirt. Warrior laughs, she laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. Ah, uh, loss. Uh, look at my memory, red dragon falls from the heavens. That memory has been lost, a shame. It was a favorite of mine. The red dragon that falls from the heavens is the dragon that fell at the begin, um, like, from the ending of Dragon Guard that caused all of this shit to happen. Like, that caused the white chlorination syndrome to happen and everything. That's what that memory is. That is the me uh, That memory has been lost. We don't know what that happened. It was a favorite of mine. Many centuries, six centuries, saw that, um, let's see how the little memories book beginning to dwindle. One seemingly infinite, the memory cells seemed to read to disappear forever. Trees did not seal sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. Did I ever have a distinct feeling that something was missing? Man, the memories have been so carefully assembled, had it disappeared. Tree, um, tried its branches as far as it could, but, um, new memories refused to flow. Pool of memories was black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. Tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but sift through the few remaining memories, littering the ground and under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the man and his companion entered the room. And now it's us. That, now that we're, because we're walking up to this. A few crystals, speaking of crystals, uh, saw a familiar sight. Forest Myth, his village's um, prisoners of their own dreams. Uh, uh, that is all that remains. As Nier said, the jewel bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. Voice implored them to listen. It was an order. Following it was mandatory. Fear realized that they must listen. They must listen. Weiss, look. Small shadow presence appeared from the floor. It looked to be a shade. Shade, um, grasped several jewels in hands. More jewels, um, um, coming out of shells of broken teeth. Creatures abusing memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap player and toys. Consuming the memories. That little thing is barely worth my time to kill. The tree extended a branch toward Nier. Without a second thought, uh, Nier brought his blade down in the shade, tearing its stomach wide. Chills burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. This is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. Well, in silence and solitude, it caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted development with good cheer, focusing all its power on the riddle of speech to transform mind. Um, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. I implore, spat a glimmering green jewel. One more time, I implore you. There we are. What was the color of the lost envy? Blue. Who, it, it, the shade is intelligence. Who cares? Hmm? Uh, slice through the shade's right arm. Shade extends its remaining arm to near. I must touch him. I must make contact. When his fingers brushed against near the tree, felt warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, up its arm and out to its entire body. Emotion more than the entire um, the entity had felt in centuries. Tree cried out with surprise and joy. A thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. Tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotions it had um, been designed to feel. This was the beginning of a soul, and the man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I am blue. How many were lost by the warrior who fought the red bear? 63 friends. For time is over, I'm going to kill this stupid shade once and for all. Uh, the key. Grab the key. Man, sword slow. Jump against other random them stretching forward slow. Time is essential. Next word must be heard. And difficult to discern their meaning, the ball of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrows away into the world. Why is this world is falling apart? How can I, um, blood of letters? I am law. Most important thing. Worlds. Yona, Yona, or Yona. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As litters slowly faded, Nier was drawn back to the real world. And the tree was satisfied. And that was weird. What in the? I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. Kind of kills someone without the smallest voodoo nonsense. Forget, he doesn't give a shit. Tree to fear, we've no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, uh, time begins to rewind. Hmm. <sighs> Memory uh, tree key. Okay. So, important things to explain about what the fuck is the deal with this? Because I've never explained it before. So, you know the replicant and gestalt uh, program? So, this this tree, the divine tree, the tree of the forest of myth, um, it has all of the memories of all the gestalts stored in it, and this is the tree that uploads these memories into the replicants, so they remember who they, so they remember like who they were and their everything like that. That's what this tree is. That's why a bunch of memories that we have are of the past, as in. 
the past before the Gestalt, like before this game, like 1,000 years ago. A millennium of science? That's not kidding. It's been here since this started, which was 1,000, what, 300 years ago before this game takes place? It's why when we got the memories in like the first half of the game, we were talking about like poles that had lights on them because traffic lights and the cityscapes and the roads and the warrior who's fighting things and they're turning into pillars of salt during the chlorination syndrome and the kid who's fallen sick with black chlorination syndrome and is dying as a result of it. And yeah, and what we just did there was kill it. Well, kind of. We've replaced all of the memories that are in this tree because because it was losing its memories over time. I don't know if there actually is meant to be a shade in here that's like was tearing away and killing the memories of this tree or if it's meant to be as more gestalts relapse and lose their consciousness this tree loses those memories so it has dwindling memories because more and more gestalts are relapsing or whether there was actually a shade in there or anything that's happening but the tree is losing its memories well, it's, or losing the amount of people that it has memories for. And what just happened at the end there, if I understand it correctly, which I very, very, very likely don't, because um, I'm very unfamiliar with the exact workings of how the um, tree works. Uh, we'll go to... We'll, let's go to King of Facade. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do that next. I'm going to save the robot one, because it's... Uh, th now... Now the robot's the one I want to do last. <laughs> now it's the one I want to do last. But, um... Yeah. That's that tree's deal. I'm... Again, I'm not 100% certain. I believe what happens at the end there is that... All of the memories that the tree has are being replaced with... The memories of Nier, as in replicant Nier. Because it doesn't have any replicant memories. It doesn't have any memories of what happens here. It only has the memories of the Gestalt. It's why all the memories and all the death dreams that we've been going through are of that. Of older memories that take place in the previous world. Which is why there's shit like tr um, traffic sites, um, things and trees and everything like that. Again, I'm not 100% on how all of it exactly works. Like, uh, I am unclear on parts of it, of the exact specifics of how it works, but yeah, that's roughly the forest myth, that's roughly its deal. I know it has the memories of the Gestalts, and those, and it, and what its deal is to replace those uh, memories into the replicants. I know that part's accurate, the, what happens at the end there, and other details of the forest myth tree, I'm not super familiar with. Because that's a lot of stuff that is only explained in Grimoire Near, which I'm not 100% familiar with, and in other outside media, which again, I'm not 100% familiar with. But yeah, that's the general idea. It's, yeah. Like, I think, like, when the death dream was happening to people, of, like, having memories of the past, as in the past of before the, the like, having memories of their gestalts while they're replicants, I believe that, I like, the Forest of Mystery definitely, or the Divine Tree, definitely appears to be dying or losing its ability, even outside of the fact that it's losing memories because more and more gestalts are relapsing. Because I do believe if a gestalt relapses, it loses that memory. I do believe that is an actual thing. Which is why if a gestalt relapses, you can't make that replicant again. Which is why this world is dying and there's more people dying. It's not just because people are dying of the Black Scroll, but it's because more and more of um, the them are relapsing. It's also if a um, person in this world dies of the Black Scroll, like replicants get the Black Scroll because their Gestalt relapsed. When their Gestalt relapses, the Forest of Myth loses that memory. So if someone dies of the Black Scroll here, they don't come back in the next generation. The one exception to that rule being Yona. And that's because Yona's kept in hibernation, so she doesn't fully relapse. So she's always able to be recreated. But because Gestalt Yona is always partially relapsed, 
every generation of Yona gets the Black Scroll. Every single one of them. I don't know if um, Replicant Yona ever dies of the Black Scroll, or if she can't because of the fact that G the Gestalt has never fully relapsed. Again, I'm not 100% certain on those details, but yeah. Like, there's a lot of things to do with all of that where the exact details of like the exact details of how the forest of, like knowing what the forest of um myth tree is knowing that it's not just a random thing it's oh it's memories of all the gestalts and it's why I explained absolutely none of what the forest of myth was in the first playthrough because that would kind of spoil the whole gestalt replica thing like knowing what its deal is and knowing that it's memories of that that's the important part that's the important part for the thematics and some of the world building Knowing the integrated details isn't super important, which is why, like, the base idea of how a lot of those things work, I did re-look up to make sure I was getting some of the details right, but the nitty-gritty of a lot of the details of, like, why does the Shadow Lord choose right now? I know a rough idea, but I don't know it's specifically. How does the Forest of Myth tree work? I know, like, I know a bit, like, the base idea of it. I don't know specifically. I try and make sure I just know, like, a rough outline of the not- super 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 important parts to at least go this is what this is there might be more of a deal to it but i don't know the specifics but i know enough to be able to explain it so the thematics of the characters and the theme of the story and everything do come across and are coherent try to make sure that i at least know that level of detail about it Like, if you're after a playthrough that explains this game perfectly and all the little bits about it, this is not the playthrough. If you're after a good overview of the whole... He's not in here, is he? If you're after a good overview of the whole game and, like, a lot of the parts of the game, and, like, seeing what this game is about before you play Automata, that game that came out months and months and months ago, and everything like that, then, yeah. Then it's a good time. Um, then this is a good playthrough for that. Outside oh, so the fact that you got to listen to me. Oh. Fira is no, is no longer the only victim, so it even made sense time-wise for me to wait to not do this immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Them yeah. wolves continue to claim the lives of my people, because yeah. you started killing them first. Yeah. Well, I'm not allowed to so, um, suffer anymore, as they king I must take a stand. And if the rules are out then damn the rules. Madness. The wolves who attacked were only a fraction of the pack. How will you fight them all? And again, we're lining up with the wolves here. The wolves, like, at the start were... The humans turned our like forest to sand. Let's kill them. And the leaders and the leader turns around and goes, "No, we can't fight them. We don't have the numbers. Let's not do this." We're here. We line up, but we're the but we're in the opposite thinking of it's the king, the leader who goes, "Let's attack them. Let's just kill them." And it's the people around them who are saying, "We don't have the numbers. Let's not do this." Which as the fact that we win this battle and the king and all of us survive is shown to be bullshit. We 100% had the upper hand the entire time. And we, because we started this ship. I will not be defeated. Too much for me to ask. We're not doing it for you, dumbass. Doing it for Fira. Kaine, you can't speak to a king like that. I don't. this is indeed the plan, then let us make haste. We can ill afford another tragedy. Let's go kill the wolves! Let's go kill the doggos! After that scene where we watched over a bunch of them dying and it was really sad. Where are you going? Strike the wolves, the town is yours. Violation of multiple rules. Rules give fear from dying? No. What did Fira ever do? She was close to knowing happiness and it was taken away from her. Yes. Was it Fira's fault she was so frail? No. Get out of my way. I cannot. You are behaving like a fool. You are young. So young. How dare you! Like, all the soldiers turn around. It's just like, what you're doing is reckless and stupid and bringing shame amongst people. Let's join you. ゆら、グラーデ、フィアトカイザムテ。カイザムトアイソー。フィアチレシキタトトラ。ゼルガンテ。アンダーゼルガン、ヤイズガッチクルソー。
It's a time to obtain the blessing of every citizen for war. There are rules about this sort of thing, after all. <laughs> I don't want a person to skip. It does not exist to bind you. They exist so you may know your freedoms. A foolish king attracts foolish people. Do not forget this. <laughs> uh, to sacrifice so much uh, for an idiot like myself. Ah, uh, they're aware that what they're doing is foolish, because some of them might die. Instead of the fact that they're gonna kill a bunch of wolves who actually didn't deserve it. Ah, uh, how great is it? How great is it? Uh, body 99.99% likely that of a red eye. Death of red eye confirms. 13th missionary force ordered home. Legion movements aren't traceable. Is the red eye the dragon? Ted also dragon. Okay. Is this all that remains? The humans will be upon us shortly. Like this is it. Like you don't have. We. It's foolish to go and kill them. It's foolish to go and do this. We're outnumbered. We're totally not going to be able to win. Cuts to the wolves. There's fucking none of them left. It's like five. We can make our escape if we move now. I hear you, my brothers. And I share your desire to die with honor. Your resolve is strong and your pack thanks you. The lives of our comrades. For the pride of our pack. Death to the invaders. Like, the wolves know they're gonna die, but they're willing to die at least trying to fight back because they don't want to run away because the humans killed the rest of them. Like, two like two sides who feel very similar about each other, but it was the it was Facade's fault. Facade was the one who started the shit. The pack leader clearly said, let's not attack them because we can't do that. Cut to the soldiers attacking the wolf saying, well, we can't let them ruin the wedding. Forget it, it's Fafira. Let's move. This is for the Queen! Like, look at the size of our... Like, we've got a number of people here. We don't have a shitload of soldiers. But I mean, there is not many wolves. He seeks the King of Facade. Well, yeah, I wonder why. The wolf, the, the wolf king did that at the start, too. And then Fira jumped him away. And yeah, let's hear, the, let's hear all the wolves yelping. Let's kill off the entire pack. But I believe the reason there's this many wolves here is for gameplay reasons and not actually supposed to be representative. When, when we saw them in the cutscene, there was a couple left. I think this is for gameplay reasons. Like, like they turn, like they turn this from the wolf standing in the in, in the face of violence and the rising thing too. Two, like both sides are leaders trying to just stop the people on their side from dying. Just one of them was violent because foolish king attracts foolish people. Foolish people will turn around and attack wolves for no reason. <laughs> like when you look at it like this, is like there's a way, 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 way more wolves than there was um, humans. But I don't think it's meant to be accurate. Because it was not accurate in the cuts. Hi there, hi there, big wolfie. Hi there, wolfie. Do you have dialogue here? I forget. I don't think you do. You have big box. Got the king. Oh, oh, oh. Don't make a to me. Okay. Oh. Die, wolves. Ah, oh. I'm gonna get you. I'm, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. The king is in danger. Yep. The king is. Yeah. Got the king. Unleash magic. Which I missed most of it since I've done attacks. But man, this wolf is actually jumping around a lot. I mean, I'm doing shields damage, and it can barely hurt me. Just 
running away. But, ah! Attack the wolves! Attack the wolf! Attack the shade wolf! Bye, Wolfie. Bye, Wolfie. Yeah, big hands! Let's go overpower this fuck. Just giant fist right on top of the wolf. And we hit it and knock it against the wall. Which is the same way that Vera died. By being attacked and then being flown against the wall. Those were my very words, human. I don't know why this shape is understanding you. And this is why we get the sad music in here. What if what have we done to deserve such a fate? Like look at its sad face. Generally does not understand why that, why the humans wanted to kill them all. Be a shade. Be wolves. That was pretty much it. Through the fucking eye. That's why the wolf turned around and said, I know the humans will be able to live among alongside us. I know they can, because this wolf was actually friends with a human before touching the book and turning into a shade. That's probably why I can understand the human language, actually. And that's why it is the loyal Cerberus. It wanted to be loyal to the humans, and it was loyal to its pack until the very end. And then the human that it so trusted at the beginning and at the end it was humans who turned around and killed it. And genuinely does not understand why. My father. We're the heroes. So even in the first playthrough, it's just like, oh, well, I guess, like, you killed the wolves who were attacking the village, and then it's just like, oh, yeah, attacking the wolves because, like, you fucked up. You weren't meant to, like, your people started attacking the wolves, and that's why they turned back on you, because you killed a bunch of them. No voice, no family. Place into it. Yep. Just as the future was beginning to look bright. young Fira was perfectly content with the life she had. She saved it. She was? She seemed happy when she was a kid. Of course. Does this not sound like what she would say to you? She was terribly proud of her king. And now you must do all that you can to honor her memory. The king talks so much about how Fira was never happy. Only I could make her happy. Not realizing that she was actually happy the entire time because that's who she was. Because she was a good fucking person. Uh. I will do my best, I swear. I need to be alone right now. King is allowed to shed tears in front of us. another infernal rule? People who must live and die by our rules. Sometimes we even break them. Isn't that right, Fira? Nothing more we can do for him. Sad truth indeed. Come. We best leave him here. No, let's pester him. Oh, right. Alright, and with that, that is the next chapter of Sad Party completed. Popular, okay. Now, I know I said in the first playthrough, and I mentioned uh, how I wanted, um, 
What's it called? The area to be lost. Because that's where we detonate an entire town. I'm gonna do the brother one last this time around. Because it has the most new information, and the new information for the brother one is the most depressing one. I mean, you've already seen it. The Shade was a kid and its mum died trying to save it from the humans. And then the robot was sentient and became friends with the kid. So I mean, you already kind of know, but... Uh, like, at this point you can extrapolate what the deal is with the Aerie. This is like, oh, yeah. Oh, well, my screen cut out. There we go, we're fine. It's like, oh yeah, they were living alongside Shades. That's weird. And that's just like, oh! Because not all Shades have actually gone crazy. The Shades were living alongside the people in the area were Shades who had gone full on Gestalt. Or full on, they, they were Gestalt, so they just hadn't gone full on relapsed kind of thing. So they still had their thoughts and memories. And you turn around and kill them because they're Shades. And then when they start fighting you back because you're just slaughtering villagers, your response is to blow up the fucking town. So we'll do that next because the brother what the brother side quest is more depressing. It's more it's more depressing. It's it's more it's more like upsetting this time around because of the new information of oh it's a kid cool. Hey there. Hello. Single spring of herbs precious right now. Collect whatever I can find. It's slow going. I just hadn't seen a person standing next to a tree for ages and I forgot if they said anything like important or anything. And they don't because no one does. Like, vill like villagers have like little tidbits and like I did a bunch of talking to them in the in the first playthrough of just like, how's the village going? What's happening? But in this playthrough, just like that. <laughs> this is why I had to do all the side quests in the first playthrough because it would ruin the pacing of the second playthrough a bit if I had to stop between things and do side quests. Even though I made the first playthrough go for a really long time and screw up a bit of the pacing in terms of the combat, Batman. And don't worry, the title of 100% in that is still accurate. I'm just going to do, like, getting all the trophies and stuff after this, after this playthrough. Because it would still ruin the pacing if I did during this playthrough. Uh, you know, I was just going to talk to you about that. The airy, uh, not so much anymore. Got a letter from the village chief. And everything's going well, and we, we've got sacrifice. One of the villagers came to know the meaning behind the term. You're more than welcome to visit. I brought this up with leaders in every town land. You did? The entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. Frank Grimmel was correct. Come on now. The area's been shunned from the world for years, and now they're not only open traders but freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. Seems rather unnatural. Doesn't bother me. Won't get you on the back if I sit here trying to make sense of every little thing. Shades here, just kill him and be, done, and be done with it. Oh dear. That's where you feel I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. Like, once... Popular realizes you can't stop near from killing Shades to try and like, get access to the Shadow Lord's castle. It's just like, well, I guess I'm gonna do it. And the thing about the the Airy knowing about the sacrifice key, I don't know if that's real. I don't know if Popular forged that letter to make you go to the Airy to kill the Shades there to get the sacrifice key. So it's like, well, if he's gonna do, huh? yeah. Let's go see the chief. What a like, soul crushing place. Because I believe once we go there, they turn around and say, I ain't got no fucking idea what you're talking about. You go fuck away. I don't know why I'm doing a southern drawl accent with it, but yeah. Like, I don't know if Popola forged the letter to make you go there to kill the people who were there so you can get the sacrifice. She probably didn't intend for you to detonate the town. But I don't know if she... Because when you go there, the chief says, I, I have no idea what fucking lady you're talking about. Go away. And that's just like, what? But I don't I don't know if, like, the shade that we talked to, who, turn, who turns into a shade, was the person who wrote it or something. Like, this is a detail that I'm really, really unsure of. Just, like... Like, who would Louis... Who would Louis you to the town to be like, this is how you do sacrifice outside of Popolo? Like, it would make sense if Popper was just like, this is how you get sacrifice key, so I'm just going to tell you how to get it. Fucking boar drifting. Boar drifting! If you ain't out of control, you ain't a boar. That does make sense. Boar drifting! I mean, they do have a, they do have a market here. 
Like, they do have a market here. I have my doubts. Like, they do have a market here. They have changed a little bit because they're now living with shades. So they're now got more people and everything, but... And how ironic, the town that decides to willingly live alongside shades kicked out Kaine for being weird, who has now become half a shade. I mean, they didn't kick her out and get rid of her because she's half a shade. You're meant to think that on your first playthrough, then you realise that's not true. And even on your second playthrough, if you're not explicitly told, then we you it could be a... Not desire. We do not desire needless conflict. If we can continue to live with humans, then we can continue to live peacefully. But that man will come. Near. Yes, that man will come. He will kill us all. He will kill our women and children. What should we do? What can we do? But he's a bunch of... says villagers, they are shades, but they are villagers. So I'm just gonna go to this hut. Can I go to this hut? Yeah. Yeah, look, there's the Lunatia Reef! And that's the... And it's hanging on the picture that... Can, is there a first person camera? I don't think there is. But yeah, there's the Lunatia Reef, and the thing that it's hanging on is the picture that Kaine drew at the beginning of the game. Oh, not, not, not the beginning of the game. Uh, at the beginning of this thing, when she was like, I got crowns off a person, and I drew that. That's a little storage shed. But yeah, that's what that was. Yeah. Like, Lunatia Reef, and she's like, hands off the flowers. And then you learn why, because it's like, oh, because her grandmother made a shitload of them. This town is still weird. This is still the town that threw out Kaine, because it's just like, well, Kaine is intersex, so fuck that and go away forever. It's like, oh, okay. And we get very little explanation of just, what's the deal with the shades here? Well, it's like, well, you already know that you kill everyone here, so I mean, do we really need to explain that much about, like, how awful you are? Do we really need to double down on a shitload of extra cutscenes saying, by the way, you're not the good guy here because you're killing these innocent people? Because you... Oh, I've got the wrong way. I'm, I'm going to where the... That is. I'm not the fuck. I know I have to speak to the chief, but for some reason I was thinking I didn't, and I don't know why. <laughs> the chief is up this ladder and then up the next ladder. Oh, Aerie. You're weird to navigate because you're so weird. <laughs> Like, why build a village here? It's so nonsense. Why? Why build a village in a fucking windy river? Uh, whatever, Aerie. You're fucking weird. You're a weird ass place. Which I get is also part of your point, but weird. Weirdos. Yo, Chief, you, did you write the letter? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> We're here from Popolo's village. It's all over. Uh, I'm here to ask about letter you sent. Taste the number down. Village is doomed. As chief as ever, it seems. We need to know who wrote the letter. I don't know about any letter. God damn it. Pass for us to take out and cruise elsewhere. So, someone must know something. Now, when they're talking about our days are doomed, it's because you're here and you're gonna kill us. I don't mention that though, but that's what it is. Also, the people who are on those houses, how do they get anywhere? Whoops. But those houses there, how do they get over here? They're not connected. <laughs> those ones there are not connected to the... I, uh, like, I can see a ladder over there so the people from the top can get to the bottom, but their houses are not connected to, um, to where we are right now. How the fuck do they walk around? <laughs> Aerie's weird. That's why we killed everyone here. Uh, countdown to detonation. I don't trust anyone. I know you. Uh... It's great, isn't it? Hi there, villagers who have started opening up. Letter, I can't help you. Hmm. You know anything about letter? I swear, I'll let it know. I don't know about that. Hmm. Uh, I think I heard something like that, so you know about the letter? Maybe I, I don't, I'm not sure. 
Which is it? If you ask me, are you friends with Kaine? You could say that. I've heard the rumors here to hunt shades, are you? And is it every last one? Every last one? Everyone? 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 Like, the, these people seem scared because fights are happening. Like, I don't know if the Shades, like, invaded the bodies of, um, people or not. Like, I don't know if... Mind if I join you? Hi there, Kaine. Oh. I love it. Hi there, Tiran. The villagers are possessed. Like, did these gestalts Some are still humans. invade the bodies of replicants and take them over? I don't actually know if that's Put what happens that or not. Please. I <laughs> yeah, oh, like, I just cut down that person who was here. Hey, it's Twisted Ring. That's a rare one. I mean, like, I do, like, I don't know... It's all your fault. Yeah, another red one. Cool. Like, I don't know which of these are, like, actual humans or, like, how the rep like, how the Shades invaded their bodies or if they, like, or what happened. But the point is, is that even the Shades who are normal Shades and the humans who are just normal replicants, they're all, like, conscious thinking beings. And you're still around killing all of them. See, let's just go kill everyone. Yeah, we're doing. We're, I we're the heroes. You for all this. Blaming us. Yeah. See, uh, uh, all the people is just like you're killing the people who are shades, but they're the people that we know, like this. Get out of here! No, I'm not going to abandon my sister. Kaine, who are they? Don't believe her. This woman's a shade. Whoa. My sister! No! You! You people are the true monsters! Stay back. Your sister is one of them now. I don't care! She's my sister, and I love her! Shed! <laughs> oh. Kaine has a moment of either guilt, or like being taken aback by being called a monster by people in the area again, and gets distracted, and gets killed again. Hi there, sister. Why have you done this? We just wanted to live our lives peacefully. You can actually kind of hear their voices somewhere else. Like, you can kind of hear their voices through it. Like, you can hear them saying it because, yeah. You who have lost your humanity, you are the true monster. These people are behaving as if you are the <laughs> They're behaving as we are the villains. You are the cursed ones. You are the ones who should die. Which, yeah, in this case, is actually incredibly accurate. We're trying to save you from the shades. Please stop trying to. We need to get out of here. Ah, mash the button. Oh, the new vixen has finally run out of steam. I'll tear it. Is it my turn now? Are you sure about that, sunshine? <laughs> ah, she wakes up just fine. Rawr! Stop this at once! Go away! Oh, like, we've just gone through and slaughtering the town smoke here. Ah, go away. Bye off the edge. Village is under attack over there. Ow. Kinda, you gotta get up. 
You watch kind, I'll go clean up over there. All right. Watch over kind, eh? I'm going over this way. Go, Emil, protect. Wait, am I going the right way? No, I already went up a spot, didn't I? Damn it, damn it, damn it. I forgot that I wasn't on the. I thought I was on the bottom floor again. I blame you for all this. Yeah, that is. That's actually kind of fair. Well, we are the problem here. We we are the bad ones. I mean, Nia's not going to admit it. What could that black swirl be? It's a giant shade forming. Just bang more with my iron pipe, because, yeah. Why did you have to come? Everything was fine until you appeared. Ah, fuck it. For, the, for these ones, Phoenix Spear. Bye. Bye. Uh, why not? Phoenix Spear time. These ones aren't dying in one hit with my other weapon, so screw it, Phoenix Spear! I'll go back to I'll go back to the iron pipe when we fight the big boss. You go away. Uh Might as well use that while I'm here. And bye, big one. Alright, Wendy. Spawn! This one's name is Wendy. I don't remember the name of the loyal servers. This one's Wendy. I believe this one's Wendy at least. Hi there, giant shade, egg, flower, thing. And with a giant rock inside of it. And an eyeball. My, my pages. Is this beast a shade as well? I think yeah, some shades get really big. Our village, our world, where am I? Who am I? I'll admit this is another one where I'm not super sure of what it exactly is. I feel something from within the bowl. It's gonna fire shots at us. Oh bullets! Wow. Hi there, bullets. And Oh, bullets, yeah. More than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to whimper is the first to die. Three, four. Yeah! I sense magic coming from the middle of the hive. Four, two, oh. Get him, ah, damn it, shielded it. No, no, no shieldies. No shieldies allowed. No shieldies allowed. Yeah. I think those are people. Oh, nothing bad. They're the shades. They're shade. Oh. <sighs> Whoops. Uh, fine. I guess that doesn't work. Do I have any items that just heal a bunch of my magic back? Uh. I don't know if I do. No. I have anything that just, like gives me all my um magic back quickly. The surrounding tentacles appear to the black I know. I'm just waiting for my Oh hey! Spawning a bunch of little ones. Hi there. Bye. Hi there. Bye. Hi there, bye. Oh, that one didn't die instantly. Oh, you're you're a sturdy one. There you go. Bye bye bye. There we go. Are you still talking? No. Oh, Alright, okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. And then off oh, one, two. Hit it. Yeah. Stage one done. Summon big magic hands to punch it. And then we keep fighting it more. Pry it open by tentacles. <laughs> Beam of war. I'm 
has hit it so much. Ow. But it's still alive because it's incredibly sturdy. And big glowy beam of war. Look out! Something's coming! Lasers! You can't get me. I'm gonna run up on your backside. Yep, just fire your laser at the entire village and burn the whole thing. Oh. Go! Yeah, using a bit more over there. Attack it from above. Hi, Kaine. Just dead on the ground there still. Emil! Emil's holding it off. Emil's fine. I'll keep it busy! Emil's fine. Should be able to attack from behind! Let's go! Get it! Please! The lad can take care of himself. We must circle to the creature's rear. Man, that's what I like to do. Hey, sex jokes. Boom! Ah, I got hit by one of those. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. It is escaping to the inner level. I attacked it too much. I attacked it a lot and I killed it. Okay, can I make the jump? Perfect. Careful, Emil. It won't help anyone if we lose you here. Go, Emil, go! Push yourselves so you can blow up the town. God damn it! I mean, it's not like we didn't intend. How can it we didn't intend to destroy the town, true, but we like moved on and just went no turning back after we did. Yeah. So much damage. Oh, I actually hit it. And bye. <laughs> uh, like the way this thing spawned, it seems to be like it was just born out of all of the shades coming together. I'm again, I'm really unsure of what exactly this thing is. Fire, big magic. And the meal is just, it's his magic. Rah! Just pierce the thing. Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's super dead. And blush comes gushing out of every every little hole that we made. And we did it. We killed a bunch of villagers who were shades, and then we killed a massive shade who was a bunch of villagers formed together. And now we're about to blow up the town. Emil, Emil, wait. We were right next to that. How do we escape? He's gone. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Well, your sister was great for that. You now have the the power of. This ain't good, sunshine. <laughs> Endurance is like, wake up, please, please. And there goes the airy. Uh, if it's anything, we are creating a new town, Craterville. I mean, <laughs> hi, Kaine. You know that town that you grew up in and you hated because all the people were evil because they tormented you. How do you feel now that they're all incredibly dead? It's like one of the cutscenes in the game that actually is, I think, completely pre-rendered. Because the graphics in that cutscene of character's face and everything is way more than, like, this cutscene we're about to get here. <laughs> or maybe not, maybe this one still, but, like, some of, like, the ones that we get, like, at the King of Azad. It feels like it's... Like, the quality of the faces in that cutscene seems a lot more than this one here. Maybe it's just the lighting, I don't know. But you saved our lives. Didn't you? If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. We owe you. Like, the worst fucking justification. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. You came in and killed a bunch of innocent villagers. 
Like, if it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead when we started and went into the place and killed a bunch of innocent people who had nothing wrong. Don't we just went there and killed a bunch of them because they were different. And then it's just like, and then it's like, they start fighting back up. Better kill everyone there. Hey, you saved our lives for killing all the people who were defending themselves. Good going, Emil. We'd best be off. Yeah. After that, yeah. Let's go, shall we? Oh. What a bunch of fucking heroes. Go back to the other one. I'm still not, a, like, certain on... As I mentioned, there's a lot of things in terms of thematics and knowing things, but I do know things. There are certain things that I'm a bit unfamiliar with, like, what is Wendy? I'm not really sure. Wendy seems to be born then, out of, like, a combination of a bunch of shades. I don't really know how it works. I mean, like, that can happen because it's all fucking magic, so, like, it's not just... But how does how do shades come back? Magic, shut up. Shades are literally magic. They're, they're the soul of humans. They're magic, so they can do whatever they want. It's magic. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the junkie keeps sent us a letter. Oh, I'm gonna go. Right, I can't just go to the junkie. I've got to go to town. I've got to go to my house first to check. Oh. That's okay. Again, want to do all the keys in one. All, all the keys except for the lost shrine. Do them all in one video. I mean, like, how long did it take us to do that half of the game beforehand in terms of, I think, each of these areas I did in one video plus the side questing video, videos between hand, and now it's three videos for five keys. Well, well actually, no, for the keys, it's two videos. I'm just thinking of the Kaine part, too, but that was all reading, which was entirely new. But yeah, two videos for all the keys. Oh, they're both long. They're both over an hour long. Well, I mean, I, if I finish the rest of the junk heap in two and a half minutes, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do this in under an hour. That's not happening. But if I did, it could happen. I mean, it's not, but it could. But like, no reason to dilly dally for this part, half of the game. Just get in there and just do it all and learn about what a fucking monster you are for killing a bunch of people who are super innocent the entire time. Because we're great. Hey. You have a letter, it would seem. Weapons available to pick up. New request, got pretty good. Off to the junk heap then. Now we go back and we'll do the junk heap last. Because the junk heap outside of the lost shrine has the most newness to it. I mean, you've already started seeing some of like, the, what, what was new in the airy? A couple of a bits of dialogue of the shades while you're attacking them, of shades going, we just want to live peacefully, fuck off, which is pretty much what the villagers were saying anyway, and the little weirdly ritualistic voices that they have at the start of it. The wolves is, you get a couple cut scenes of, the wolves are innocent, and you killed them because the king, the village started shit with them, and you have the Hansel and Gretel one, which is... A depressing story that started in like the second video of this series. I believe this. I believe it was the second video of this series that we got why. So that's a learning the end of the actual depressing story that started really early on in this LP. And Forest of Myth has nothing new except a little bit of context that you don't really know unless you read the side books. Like, them getting you to, like, redoing all the other sections is, there's new shit in all the other sections in terms of learning a little bit more about what the quote-unquote villain of the area actually was and realising that they weren't actually a villain. There's nothing new in the Forest of Myth in any capacity, which is probably why it's also the quickest one to do. Like, imagine if this area, like, the reading that to do for Forest of Myth in this one, how quick was that at the beginning of this video? Imagine if I had to redo the Death Dream section from the first half of the game where it was the entire video that I had to do that reading section, because I had to do multiple reading sections. Each of one, I feel like, was longer than the one I did it. So listen up, so I have to do, redo that. Again, if you had to do, redo the entire game, it would be frustrating as fuck. Like, if you had to redo all, like, the, because the beginning parts of the game also have some of the more, like, um, play things that would be, like, completely unnecessary to replay. Like, imagine having to go back to Seafront to 
fish for fucking shaman fish to heal Yona. You don't need to do that for the thematic story. So let's just only do these parts that matter to thematic story. Hey there. It's like they don't even Your get you. Ready to go. Like, you don't even start from the five years later. You start when Gaina is resurrected, so you don't even need to go back down to the lab to refi Emil's sister, which, for thematic thematic reasoning, doesn't matter. Like, the boss there isn't a shade. It's Emil's sister. You know the whole deal with that. Great. Thanks. Obtains the air, uh, no. with, with a weapon like that. I, need to add. I, yeah. I want you to avenge my brother. And then the music fades out. You know, the brother that you actually That's killed. That's a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's why I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I want to kill the robots. I killed my brother. I mean, you're already part robots. So I kill, don't care kill about yourself, money. But I mean, that's not gonna. Happen. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. What bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little shade and his robot. They're a shade. shade? Oh, oh, let's go and kill them. Shade. Yes. No. <laughs> and what have we decided? Hmm? It's killing time. Yep, and Nier is completely alongside of it. It's just like, oh, a shade kills someone? Let's go murder things. Despite the fact that this dude is actually crazy and he killed his brother. P33 said it was because of the noise that you created, which is just actually not true. Um, it, like... This is like, the noise caused a collapse. They should have been more careful. The more careful part is definitely true, but it wasn't because of the noise. Like, you can see in a cutscene that Gideon... Um, slips on a pipe and causes it to fall over. But I think that might just be a translation thing or something. Oh, you can see Gideon run over a pipe, roll it back, and knock over everything. I, this is the one that is the most... Like, in terms of the context of what did the enemies do, it's one of the more fucked up ones. Just for the fact that they actually... I mean, the, the whole thing with all of them is... Like, all four of them. Hansel and Gretel, Wendy, um, the wolf, which I forget the name of, and P33 and Khalil here. All of them actually did nothing. Like, none of them actually started any of it. Hansel and Gretel were literally just doing their fucking... Okay, I've actually completely forgotten where I'm meant to go for this area. Do I just take this elevator down? Where's the elevator? So I don't go through the rest of this because there's no elevators there, so I go somewhere here. I don't actually remember where I- uh, B. Well, I don't- I don't remember where the boss fight is here. It's been a while since I've been through, I don't remember where the boss fight is. Shit. Shit, I don't remember- ah, oh, god damn it. Ah. We'll work it out, I'm sure. It's somewhere around. <laughs> Dramatic music here. <laughs> kind of. Is it here? That looks like a long pathway, but I don't actually know if this is it. The elder brother postponed oh, no, his is... joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? He was able to help shape the life of his brother. I th think so that was reward enough. So I think this is the collapse that that happens. That like, I think that's meant to be the collapse that killed them, or killed Jacob. I don't know if it is. It, I think it is though. It looks like it, given how much it fell over. Looks like stuff has fallen to collapse since then because of how you was like Gideon was standing compared to everything. I, I don't know. Locked off so it's clear to know where I'm going, which is the main thing I need to know. <laughs> I'm worried this is gonna take a long time to do this one, because I'm worried we're gonna have to do one of those um like side scroll of the like the twin six shooter section. Which yeah, that looks like what we have to do there. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, because you go to the top half of this map to kill um to get the memory alloy, and then you're going off the other direction so you can get to the boss. That's right, that's right, I don't remember. Man, I'm so glad I already had a memory alloy. So I didn't have to go in here and actually do all this stuff here either. You go away. You go away. Phoenix Spear, activate. Form of way too powerful. Like, there's one thing about killing these enemies. These robots seem guaranteed to drop an item every time. 
because they seem to count as like good like the goats and enemy like the goat enemies and stuff like that uh, drop in um, items every time. Shades don't drop items every time, so item grinding on shades is really hard. But grinding on these ones, I mean, they drop an item every time, so at least there's that. Oh my, oh my god, uh, this throw, I guess. So not going that way, going here. And yeah, I am going on this. Onwards we go! I hope this is not going. So I can just run it forward, because I don't need to worry about killing everything. So just move forward as fast as you can. Go, yeah. And Nick's trying to shoot us, let's kill him pretty much instantly. Yeah, I don't even have to do multiple shots to the things this time. Hitting them once is good enough. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Uh, just all in one go, yeah. I guess the turrets don't have like this. But all the other robots do. Even those robots do. I mean, they may not drop a here because they're going down to a bottomless pit, but the flying robots still drop items. You can fight these things later on, because... Like, every particular type of robot has unique items that only they drop, so you got to kill all of them. The big boss ones, the flying ones, the normal sized ones. They all have unique items that only they drop, so you got to kill out all the robots. I don't know if these robots have emotions and feelings. I think it's I think P33 only got them because I'm able to speak with um, Khalil. Yeah. But there are other bosses that you fight that are essentially P33 as well. Okay, Kaina, you're just standing there. I don't know how you got ahead of me, but thanks. But the bosses that you fight at the end of certain rooms that drop the memory alloys, I believe they are... I think they may actually be exactly P33s. So I'm not certain if they are the P33 model, a very different model, but I'm pretty sure they are. Just the one with Khalil is different because... Story. Alright, so this is just down into the ends. Do I need to go through the rest of it or not? I forget. So much I don't remember. Like, I think... I think... It'll sound, it'll sound the chest. No, okay, maybe, maybe they, I mean, they look very similar. No, it, is, it does say, P ow, 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 ow. Does it say P33 or P32? Like, I don't know, I don't think these ones are memories. Or, like, a uh, human. Uh, it might, it might say P32, I can't remember. Well, it says something. Yeah, kill him in one hit anyway. Titanium alloy, yeah. Take one healing item. Kill all the little ones that are coming out, yeah. Titanium alloy is good to get, because I need to find them grinding later on anyway. Like, for this playthrough, I've put on, on my items, or like, the weapons that I'm using, I've put on item drop um, increase, please, because that's what I've always done. This makes me think, I, when I first went through the game, I put on, I think, experience, because, like, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay, I want to say up to the top here and to the left is where the actual boss fight is. I want to say here is the boss fight, but I don't remember. Look, like this floor, exactly where we are now. This is the grinding area. For this, like for this area, this is the grinding area. This whole, like this entire floor. It's got like multiple bosses that spawn here. It's got these flying enemies. It's got a bunch of little ones. This, like this, yeah. Machine oil. Only these flying, flying ones drop that seal. So that or machine oil. I don't remember if I finished grinding out all of these ones for the items that I need, um, the, like, the weapon upgrades that I needed. I think I did, I'm not certain. I may have only been shaded I, uh, enemies that I needed to the grind, I don't know. Or maybe the grinding that I did down here was for side quests. I don't know if I did all the weapon grinding or not. There's a lot of weapon grinding, it's ridiculous. Before I have an episode where I actually upgrade all of them, I'm just gonna make a list of everything that I need and explaining where to get them. I might even film some of the ground, just be like, this is where you get this, this is where you get this, this is where you get this. To just try and like explain in video just how ridiculous it is to grind it all. Because, oh my god, it's so much. It's so much. Like it's the it's the yeah, it's the boss fight. It's the most ridiculous part of the entire game to 100% because it's absurdly difficult. It's absurd how much you need to do to actually, like, level up every weapon. Like, all the other parts of 100% are still ridiculous. Like, doing, like, the amount of grinding you need to do to, um, like, 
do every side quest is a lot. The amount of grinding you need to do to get like the loot it's here and stuff. All that's ridiculous. The most ridiculous part of this game, in terms of trying to 100% it, is by far the weapon grinding. Which is why I've abandoned it for this playthrough where I'm stronger and I don't have to worry about things so much because I knew I was going to do multiple playthroughs, so that's why I got to a point where I'm just like, uh, it's clearly going to take way too fucking long to try and do it in a first playthrough, so fuck it. It's going to take way too long to try and do this in between episodes, so that's why I took like a multiple week, actually multiple month gap between episodes to be like, I'm going to grind for weapons, and then I still then got to a point where I'm just like, you know what, I'm not going to. Alright, I'm going in. Wish I had half the courage you possess. Oh, you're coming with me. You're all coming with me. Now let's never leave a weapon. Switch back to the iron pipe, because I don't want to kill the boss instantly. Because dialogue! And, oh, I fall my butt. Uh, you could just walk, you could, if the cave-in didn't happen, you could just walk here, because this is the same area where you fought the boss in the first part. Hey, P33. BP. Hey, Khalil. It's humans! Intruders! Here to kill me! You know the thing that Glil was really worried about? Humans coming to kill me? Hi Glil! Hi P33! Where the subtitles go? Guns! Hi P33! Yeah. yeah, I think this is a different model. I think the other ones are P36. Scanning, exterminating. Do it, BP, beat him good. Yeah. Look at the shape. Hi there, shit. <laughs> it's commanding my talking. Cause they're friends. Take out the shape. I don't know how much unique dialogue there is here. BP, stop! That's enough! See, be, like, Khalil's sitting around going, okay, you can't beat them, that's enough. You're gonna be destroyed if you keep, like, BP's is like, please stop fighting, you can't do it, let's just run. The mission is defend the shade. No, I can't live without you. Like, BP's is like, I will sacrifice myself so you survive and beat, and Khalil's like, no, it's not worth living if I'm gonna be alone again. No! Damn it! That's a shame! It's a shame! And that's Kainé, like... Kill Kill like, that's Kainé convincing herself is realizing, it's a kid! I'm going to kill a kid! And Kainé is just like, no, 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 it's not a kid, it's not a child, it's not a child, it's a shade, so I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her because it's a shade and it's nothing but a sh shade. I am not killing a kid, I'm killing a shade. Because Kainé still feels being guilty about it! This is why I saved this one to last, because it's really fucking depressing! Did you hear killing him? Fucking kid! The boss, like, the other ones are just like, the boss fight is like, like I mean, like, there's the kids that you kill with Ansel and Gretel, and like, you're killing the leader of a wolf pack, and everything in the other ones. The boss fight of this one is a kid, and it's Robot who it taught how to love. And it's. Ah! Oh, Duh, ah. Oh. And then we get this cutscene where wings don't make sense, and how does a robot fly with this with wings like this? And boop 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 boop. All the sound effects that sound like a car crashing. P thirty three has evolved into robot angel form. Ing ing ing. ing. This thing can transform. So what does it do once it gets wings? It doesn't attack you. You think it's trying to collapse the roof in on its head? No. I believe here it is trying to escape. Because BP and Khalil wanted to go out and explore the world. It's not wanting to escape because it realizes it can't win. It's agreeing with BP. It wants to go see the world with Khalil. That's what it wants to do here. Wait, no, you can stop now. 
but then realizes can't escape, can't break through the ceiling. Must, pr must protect Khalil. I can't escape, I must fire. Cause tried to fly through the roof, tried to break through it. Couldn't. I must fight now. It's just... Like, it's trying to protect the child. Like, it's trying to... You can't concentrate with all this bullshit fancy talk. It's trying to protect a kid and you turn around and kill it. And it's just... Oh, this... Swat him down! I'm getting killed here! Like, BP and Khalil, no! I don't want to kill you! I don't know if there's more dialogue. I don't think there is. Oh, I'm trying to escape again! BP, stop! You're my best friend in the whole world! You're gonna stop! Like, BP is falling apart here. Trying to fight. Trying to escape. Like, it, it fights, tries to escape because it realizes it can't beat you, realizes it can't escape, and then instead tries to fight back, and then it's like, no, 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 no gotta try and escape again. And then the wings go. I don't know why multiple spawn here. But like, like, others are there. And they attack me. Khalil doesn't. Khalil does not attack you. The other ones spawn, they attack, and, I, and that is weird, and I don't actually know what's there. That might be a gameplay thing. But Khalil does not attack you. The other ones that come out will, yes. Khalil refuses to attack you. I, I, again, I think it's a gameplay thing, these other ones come out. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but yeah. Khalil refuses to attack you. And here, the, the timer, there, there's no timer. Because at this point, Khalil is not getting back up. So... You kill Khalil. And for a tiny shade, for a child... What do we need to do? Clearly we need to do giant fantastic attacks. Well, on the robot. Must defend my... Mission. Defending the mission is defending mission. Khalil. Mission. Mission. Like you think it's just, oh it's a robot trying to attack us, it's like no, it was trying to protect its friends. Like this is the what like... Like, I mean, killing a village is still worse than killing a single person, but in terms of the new information you learn in the second one, this is by far the worst one. Because you came in and killed a child and its friends because someone else told you to because that other person made a mistake and killed his brother. These two had nothing to do with it. Khalil, together, BP alone, BP cry. You. You stupid machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! And he comes in to get his revenge on the dead robot in Shade here. Why did you have to be here? Why you? Why are you here? When it was him the Why? entire time who did it. And you can know on the first playthrough that he's responsible for killing his brother because that cutscene doesn't ch I mean you, you see afterwards I'm talking about it should have proceeded with more caution and BP explains that it was caused because of that I mean BP explains it wrong but it explains because of that but in terms of Gideon tripping on the pipe and knocking everything over you can see that on your first playthrough and know that Gideon's just <laughs> fucking crazy beautiful what a perfect example of humanity yeah Ultra-violent humans being total fucking assholes to everyone. Tyrion would love this. And with a dead child and a dead robot, let's speak Why to the person who made this here? happen. Why you? Why are you here? Why? 
Hitting that thing won't bring your brother back. He's dead! It's this bastard's fault! And hitting it makes me feel better! Sounds like... You freak! You goddamn freak! I'm gonna explore this entire mountain now! I'll make terrible weapons! Killing machines! No one can stop me! <laughs> um, yeah. His revenge on someone who had nothing to do with anything. Because he just fucked up as a kid. Like, fuck. That's what I mean by, in terms of new information, this is the most fucked up one. It's still more fucked up to kill an entire village because you're killing an entire village, which has multiple children in it. But you're killing a child and its friends who had nothing to do with anything because Gideon just went fucking crazy. I know. Revenge is a fool's errand, I know, Nier says, wanting revenge and doing nothing to change his ways. Now we can find the Shadow Lord. And Yona. We certainly can. We're almost there, Yona. Hold on. Yay! We're the heroes. We did it. We saved the day. Ja oh. Like, that's a kid! And you see at the beginning, it's just like, Khalil's mom, like, sacrificed herself so Khalil could live because a bunch of humans were coming to kill them because they're shades. So what happens? You, as a human, replicant, you as a human go and kill Khalil because Khalil's- I mean, like, when you hear that the shade was controlling it, then Nia's just like, like, Nia goes, I don't know about killing this robot, I don't know. It kind of doesn't seem like something I'm, I'm willing to just go do because you seem a bit crazy. <laughs> but a shade's doing it. Oh, the shade? Oh, I'm going to... And then he's like, it's killing time. And it's like, oh, the shade? Then hell yeah, I'll kill him. And it's just like... Poor Khalil. Mum died protecting him and then just, from humans and then to make the same fucking fate at the end. Like, you had the case in... What's it called? Uh... The Sard where the two sides, their thoughts match up in terms of what they want. But one of them is clearly at fault. Not for that one. BP didn't want revenge. I mean, BP was just like, I don't want, I don't want to hurt those two intruders. They seem nice, even though they're humans. And when they come, and when those two intruders come in to, like, you intruders, come in, it's just like, BP's like, yeah, beat them up good, because they're trying to kill us. And then when it's like, fine, it's just like, McGillis is like, I don't I care about killing how them. Relatively I don't simple a task this retrieval process proved to be. It is almost as if someone deliberately set us on this path. Yeah. Overthinking again, Vice. But I don't care if it's a trap. Yona's waiting for me, and I'm going. I see. Yeah. Almost like someone deliberately sent us on this path. Almost like once Devil and Popular realized that they couldn't stop you from doing it, they're just like, well, I guess we'll make this happen now. So on the next episode, it is back to the Shadow Lord's castle to go through the end of the game again. <laughs> uh, so until then, this has been the sad party. Hope you and your. Sad Host, version 2, signing out.